Well, good morning everyone and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Breakfast with Evo. You can see I'm standing up here on hole 17 today, looking down the fairway, which we're gonna have a look at what goes on on this hole. And in particular, those sloping lies on the fairway. Around this golf course, you can get lots and lots of lies like this. Ball above your feet, ball below your feet, uphill shots, downhill shots. And today we're gonna to try and cover exactly what goes on with all of those shots. We've had so many questions in about them that I won't name particular people, but thanks for all your questions. We're gonna have a look at that now, but before we move on this morning, there's a couple of lads that would like to say hello. Hello everyone, hope you're all safe and well at home. I'm assuming by now that you're all professionals with all the coaching that Evo's been giving you. If you need a little bit more help, hopefully when we get the green light, we'll all be on the range, working day and night. Looking forward to seeing you all and take care. Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. I know there's been quite a few frustrating weeks not being able to go out there and play. Trust me, it's just as frustrating for me living 50 yards away from the first tee and not being able to get out there. Uh, hopefully we'll all be out there again soon and I hope to see you all soon in the shop once we're all back and ready to go. Well, really nice to hear from Steve and Alex there, both doing well. Steve's got a baseball cap on and I'll leave it to your imagination to see why he's actually got that baseball cap on because he doesn't normally wear a baseball cap. Anyway, let's get on with today. We did say that we were gonna have a look today at those lies that cause us problems on the course, makes us feel awkward when we stand, ball above the feet, ball below the feet, uphill shots, downhill shots. We're gonna work all that out today, hopefully. We might even need to actually have two programs about it because there's so much to actually look at, but we'll see how it goes. One or two programs, we don't mind. We're gonna get back to the garden because that's where we're gonna be looking at it. So let's get back to the garden now and see if we can help you with those shots. Well, that's a cracking view down 17 and I love teeing off on that hole driver off the top get it down there as far as you can and there's a crossing point on that fairway where if you can get so far up your shot becomes a lot easier not only because you're closer to the green and you can use so much more elevation to get the ball to stop on that narrow putting surface but also if you're further back not only is it more difficult because of the trajectory of the shot but also now you're playing the ball from well above your feet, which makes that so much more difficult. I'm gonna try and demonstrate that to you now. Let's have a look and see what we can do about helping you with those shots where the ball is either a little bit or severely above your feet. Well, what you can see here on the ground is in front of me is Thomas's skateboard and bike ramp jump, but I'm gonna use it today to demonstrate what it's like to have the ball above your feet and what happens to your posture as a result of your lie being different. Remember that these things are actually really quite awkward to practice because unless you're on the golf course, the driving range doesn't have variants of lies and you need to be on the course practicing maybe in the evening off lies that have different types of slopes above your feet, below your feet, etc., etc. So hard to practice, but remember, Lots of what we've done over the last month, it's covered how you need to change your setup most of the time. So we don't have a stereotypical setup. And if you get used to changing your setup all the time, these things shouldn't be as hard as you may think they are in the situations where you change your setup just once, it feels really awkward, and then you can't make a swing. So the most important thing there is to make sure that you change your setup on a regular basis for the shot that you're about to hit. We'll take a look at my regular posture first of all for a six iron and what I want you to look at in particular is my spine angle and also the position of my knees. So this is a regular setup, let's have a look at that. Club sole is flat on the ground, I've taken my grip spine angle nice and straight and you can see that my knees and shoulders are almost in line my shoulders being just a little bit in front of my knees and that's a good starting point 
my weight's on the balls of my feet, so I've got great balance in this position, and that's generally where I'm going to make a swing from. But the most important thing to remember, having a look at this angle, is to have a look down the angle of my spine. Let's get a little bit more forward for you to see. From there, down into position, there's the angle of the spine, and this is my regular setup position. Imagine now the ball is above my feet, and we'll go from the lie being slightly up to lots up. Here's the bottom, regular setup. Now what, look what's happening, and now I'm going to reach up to get a ball which is halfway up the slope. Okay, so have a look and see what's happened now. You can see that my spine angle is now more upright, and my knees are almost now in front of my shoulders, and that's going to make me swing a lot flatter because my spine angle is more upright. Because of that position also, my weight has moved considerably back, almost onto my heels. Also not a good position for balance. So remember, wherever you set up and how much you've had to lift, if your weight has moved back onto your heels, you now need to readjust your weight position so that your weight gets onto the balls of your feet. The best thing to do there is to alter the flex of your knees. And this will be exactly the same when we turn it around and then we're playing shots from a ball below the feet. We'll have to adjust then too. So remember that now, the spine position has come up, weight's gone back onto my heels. It's gonna make me make a flatter swing and because of that flatter swing, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna make a swing which is much more rounded and that will make me hit the ball from right to left. Do you remember that? Ball above your feet, right to left, draw. The other way round, we're gonna fade the ball. Go to the draws and fades, video, closed stance or feet pointing to the right, flat swing. Feet pointing to the left, steeper swing. So more upright in the spine, flatter turn, flatter swing. Steeper in the spine, which we'll have a look at in a minute, steeper swing left to right shape because it's a more upright swing so really quite easy to understand but you now have to trust the effects of that shot and how you're going to set up according to how much the ball is above your feet well here i am i'm going to hit my six iron i know the ball is considerably above my feet so i need to know and work out the shape I've worked out that I need to alter my setup a bit to not accentuate that shape too much, but I know the ball is gonna draw, and I, in that case, because it's going to draw, I need to make sure that I'm gonna start the ball much, much further right. Now, the amount that you would point to the right is based around how much above your feet the ball is. So if the ball is considerably above, you need to aim well right. Let's take the bank on the 17th, for instance. Big right-hand slope, your ball hasn't come back down onto the fairway and all of a sudden, you're in this position here. Now, not only are you in a position where the, the draw almost turns into a pull draw because the club is closing so quickly, and what you'll need to do in that situation as well is to hold further down the handle. So you've got to make the club a lot, lot shorter, otherwise the club will be sitting on the heel. The heel contacts the ground first and then it shuts the club face even more. So remember, up we go, hold down the handle there. There we are in position. Now you can see that I'm still going to swing on a fairly flat arc and that's because the ball has made me get more upright. So I know that I'm now going to get myself into a position where the ball's going to turn from right to left. So I'm very, very happy to aim 10, 15, 20 yards to the right to compensate for that draw. And that's something that you have to trust. You can learn whether it be from that steep bank or whether it's just from a position here where the ball is marginally above my feet. Okay. 
let's have a look at that in a swing unfortunately I can't hit a ball off here but let's have a look at it in a swing how it affects the path and this time I'm going to adjust the line of my feet so that my ball finishes right in the middle of the green let's have a look at that now Now you can see here that contrary to what we said about the draws and fades video, my club face is pointing at where I want the ball to start, not where I want it to finish, because the slope will create the shape, remember that. So we don't want the club face pointing at the target and then the feet to the right because we'll be in real trouble. So remember, in this situation, point the club face at where you want the ball to start pointing out to the right, feet parallel, out to the right, you can see that now. Now what I've got to do, because my weight's gone onto my heels a bit, so I just get myself into a better position, now I'll still make the rounded swing, Away we go and that ball is going to start down the right hand side and it's going to draw back into the middle of the green or at least we hope it is that's what you have to trust let's turn things on their head ball below the feet what happens in that situation well it's pretty much the same but in reverse let's take a look at that now well my talents know no bounds here we are with a perfect ball below your feet lie in the garden, which is perfectly flat and beautifully manicured. Well, it might be later if I get a chance to cut it. But let's have a look at this now. You can see now we're gonna get the effects to work the other way, ball below the feet. Let's have a little look. I'm trying to stand normally first, remember that, my normal posture, and here we are. But what's gonna happen now when I move down into that position where the ball is below my feet? Let's have a look at the spine angle and let's have a look at the weight and see what happens. Well, I'm almost toppling over there as my spine has gone over more and more and more. All of a sudden, my weight is now right on my toes and look at the angle of my spine. Really, really awkward position. So, the more the ball is below your feet, the more your spine will go from being in a normal position to being over. Let's understand this. Because it's over, my turn is a lot steeper, just like it was when the ball was above my feet. My turn is a lot flatter. Look at the angle of my shoulders. So the difference between these two swings is huge. So the extent to which the ball is below your feet, that's how much your posture will change. So in this position here, let's move back. So as you can see now, the ball is only just below my feet, but I still had to lean over. So I'm gonna adjust that, that setup now. So I'm gonna make sure that my weight, which is now going more and more and more towards my toes, that's making me off balance and I can't be off balance for any golf shot must balance so what i'm going to do is instead of having the weight on the toes i'm going to move my knees back and put the weight back in the balls of the feet so i'm now back in control as i mentioned there because the posture is now more over the swing becomes steeper because of the angle of the shoulders which of course means i'm going to hit more across the ball and create left to right spin in this situation. So in this situation, left to right spin, what must I do? Aim left. That's the first thing I'm gonna do is to understand how much I need to aim left because of the slope and how much the ball is below my feet. What I should have mentioned when we were the other way around with the draw as well, is that when the ball is above your feet, you might want to take less club, because remember, it's a topspin draw shape. But with this shape, because it's a fade, 
making us turn from left to right with spin you'll need more club and of course with more club we're extending the length of the shaft which means that you won't have to bend over as much and that will help you as well so if the ball is excessively below your feet watch what I'm going to do now I'm going to have to turn my feet so they point well to the left or as much left as you need for this slope that you're on but remember the club face now points where you want the ball to start and that is contrary to the draws and fades video we want everything lined up here because remember the ground and the angle of the shoulder turn will make the shape for us you've just got to trust that it will happen hitting enough club is hugely important as well because you'll leave lots of these short if you don't take enough club let's have a look at that swing and set up when the ball is considerably below my feet there we are down on the left side there now as you can see the more I'm lent over so I'm going to bring my weight back now to the position on the balls of my feet there my balance is going to be okay from here I'm going to struggle to make a proper swing through from this standing on these blocks but let's have a look at the swing it's going to be much more across me and as you can see the shaft is now pointing in a laid off position to the left we know it's going to start over there and that's what makes me then hit across the ball and it's up to me to use those knees weight on the balls of the feet to create the right type of balance let's try and make a swing at it without falling over here we go okay so much more across the ball that would have started left and the natural contours have created the shape that's brought it out into the middle of the green well the only other thing to mention from those two setups is remember that because i didn't get the camera going on to the other side just remember that your ball position will change marginally to help you start the ball online ball position further back in your stance of course will help you to start it more to the right ball position more forwards in your stance that will help you to start it more left so remember if the ball is below your feet you'd probably want the ball more forward in your stance and above your feet then you'd get yourself into a situation where the ball would be further back in your stance and that will help you to start it up the right hand side ready for the ball to draw back into the middle of the green Hope you've enjoyed it as always. Thanks for your questions. I'll see you all soon. Have a great weekend. It's a bank holiday, but enjoy yourselves. There may be a surprise coming in the post tomorrow. We'll see in the morning if there's anything in your mailbox. But from me, have a great weekend. See you all next week.